Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Anita Mangatli. I am a product line manager in the Strata Cloud Manager team at Palo Alto Networks. Um, as, as you all know, uh, Strata Cloud Manager is our uh, network security platform where we bring in the AI ops functionality as well as uh, the cloud management of uh, next of Prisma Access SD WAN. As well and and next in firewall um, along with the uh, visualizations for all the CDSs subscriptions into one platform. The AI ops functionality in Strata Cloud Manager um, includes operational help, being able to manage the operational help, prevent network disruptions, as well as uh, how to improve your uh, security posture. So in this um, uh, in the security posture pillar. Um, Policy analysis is one of the main components. Um, and this policy analysis is now available for Prisma Access in Strata Cloud Manager. And if I may, let me kind of deep dive into uh, what policy analysis is in, in Prisma, um, in Strata Cloud Manager for Prisma Access. So um, this is the this is the part that I was talking about the uh, the main uh, parts of uh, being able to help the uh, help you strengthen security in real time includes uh, being able to maximize your security um, follow best practices and then optimize configuration and write secure okay. configuration in real time uh, we are specifically going to focus on this part which is optimizing your configuration which is remediating misconfigurations with ML powered analysis. This is the uh, this is uh, policy analysis. Uh, if we were just going to talk about uh, policy analysis as it exists today in the product, uh, it is um, it is the the process policy analysis itself is a process of analyzing the um, this all of your security rules uh, to make sure that there are no uh, there are no shadows or redundancies, generalizations or correlations. All of these together, um, uh, all of these together are called security policy anomalies. So we point out to you if there are uh, shadows in your uh, in your policy or redundant rules, so you can clean them up and um, and and so that you don't have uh, you know you don't have rules which are which you um, you know which are redundant, which just takes up space in your config, or uh, rules that are shadowing each other and therefore are not really following the uh, following what you want, uh, the, the security policy that you want. Um, so the, we also show, uh, give, you, uh, give you insights into consolidation. So if there are rules in your security policy that, are, uh, that can be consolidated be just because there is, um, uh, there, there is uh, only one of the attribute of your security policy, say a uh, source IP is different across multiple rules, we give you possibilities of consolidations. So all of these together um, are known as po security policy anomalies. We surface them in Strata Cloud Manager uh, in the security posture pillar. Um, so as it as of today, um, it is a policy analyzer uh, uh, analyzes uh, the security pol and gives you security policy anomalies for Panorama Managed Prisma Access and firewalls. Um, the PanOS version of the Panorama should at least be 10.2.3, and we have the, and there needs to be a cloud connector plugin installed uh, because this um, uh, th this plugin is what um, sends the sends the config to uh, to us to for for the config to be analyzed in the cloud. So that's this this is the uh, this is the uh, requirement for policy analysis to be available in Strata Cloud Manager. So when we, there are um, two main portions in um, in policy analysis. So um, as as I mentioned before, uh, what we are doing is we are able to um, we are able to sh show you the security policy anomalies that exist in your config. There another main thing that we are able to do um, in Strata in Strata Cloud Manager today is a security pre-change analysis. And what we mean by pre-change analysis is, um, say you, you are adding, um, adding a specific intent. You, you want to add a rule to, uh, to your security policy. 
uh, but the, there are a few things that, uh, since the security policy is quite large, there are a few things that um, you might want to know before you even add the rules. And that is what we're calling a pre-change analysis. So um, we we get the, the we have the latest config of, of from Panorama um, in the cloud. So you can specify your intent. Um, this is this is the new rule I want to add, and um, so uh, and and start an analysis. So once you specify your intent and say this is the rule that we I would uh, like to add, uh, we run the analysis and we tell you if there are um, existing security rules in your rule base that already meet the new intent. Um, so in in this case, uh, what we are um, uh, for in this example, uh, what we have is uh, a rule which you say uh, you wanted to add uh, allow a Dropbox upload from um, zone one, and that is the, that is the rule that you want to add, um, and you submit that analysis to uh, to policy analyzer. We are uh, we run the analysis the and and let you know that there is a new there is a rule in your uh, in that specific device group that already. Yeah, um, kind of is is very close to the intent that you are trying to trying to meet. So in this case, you will you will notice that there is um, there is an allow rule from zone one, um, and that that does allow uh, uh, that does allow uh, uh, the application. So there is there is a possibility that you can consolidate with this with this specific rule and uh, not have to create a whole new rule there's also um if, if there are if if your if the rule that you're trying to add is an allow and there is a deny rule that is actually um in in that device group we show that to you so you can know where to correctly place the new security rule or you might um you might also decide that updating a security rule is better uh, better in this case than uh, than adding a new rule therefore you might ex update the existing security rule um so just going through that analysis and giving you this information on uh, that uh, the the rules that exist already exist in your rule base that meet your criteria maybe fully or partially helps you decide what you want um, how you want to add that uh, add that rule to the uh, to the rule base so this is um, the what we call the new intent satisfaction analysis this is done of course entirely in strata cloud manager and then you can make a decision before adding your rules to panorama The other portion of policy anal uh, analysis is, of course, um, the security uh, policy, uh, identifying security policy anomalies, detect and remediate policy anomalies. So let me kind of take a step back and tell you how this works. This is um, uh, this, of course, is uh, when you are making a change to to Panorama. So you say you want to add a rule to Panorama. You are going ahead and adding a, a specific rule, uh, a specific rule to uh, to Panorama, which is say say in this case it is that deny specific rule that you're adding. Um, saying that you want uh, you you want to deny um every uh, the for everyone from this specific source address, um de deny all traffic, and that is that is a rule you want to add. Uh, when when after you add that and you and you commit this um, commit this particular config on Panorama, the the plugin sends this committed config to the to the cloud, and one uh, and th that is when we run the analysis and um, analysis in Strata Cloud Manager, and we give tell you if there are rules that are causing um, that are uh, you know that are shadowing other rules or there are redundant rules. Um, or there are generalizations. In this case, you will notice that um, the deny specific rule will be shadowed by a high by a rule which is higher in the order. So in, in this case, um, there will be a, a, a there, there will be a shadow between this rule and uh, the rule number nine and rule number fourteen. So uh, when we run the analysis, we will tell you that these are uh, the, uh, when you, if you were to make this change, then that the rule that you are adding will be shadowed. So uh, we give you a summary of uh, the shadows that do exist currently exist in your um, in your committed config. So we run it at for each of the DGs and tell you that there are what the shadows and redundancies, uh, generalizations and possibilities of consolidations that that exist in your um, in your rule base. Um, and we give you the policy uh, anomaly count at uh, for every DG. 
So um, this, uh, this identifies the um, security policies uh, across all DGs. And we will notice also that we, uh, we prioritize the, um, we, we prioritize the security policy anomalies. So anomalies, the shadows that we feel are uh, more important for you to look at um, than the um, than others, we we prioritize as high. So we will tell you that these are um, policies that uh, the shadows that you should look at immediately and try to uh, and try and work on remediating. So firstly, we give you a very high level uh, high level summary of the um, of the analysis. Um, and then the details as well as the suggested next steps. So the, the details will go into telling you exactly which rule is covering the other rule. Um, so if there are, if this particular allow if this particular allow rule is covering a deny rule, um, in, in, in this case, what happens is the deny rule is not going to be hit at all. So you are, we are based, we, the deny rule is being, uh, that has been added is um, either uh, redundant or you need to place it higher than the allow rule if you want that particular um, if you want that to uh, to actually be hit um, uh, be hit and for that for that particular uh, set of attributes uh, to to not allow traffic so we uh, so these are th this is a shadow that we identify for you uh, along with this uh, we give you the suggested next steps uh, on you know what what you can do um, because this this at, at this point it does require you knowing what um, what the action that needs to be taken. So we give you, you know what what the options are. If you if you want the traffic to actually be allowed, then re re remove the remove the covered rule because it is it is not being hit anyway. Um, on the other hand, if you want this rule uh, this. This, uh, this rule to actually be hit, then it needs to be placed higher in the uh, higher in the rule base, so that you can go ahead and and, and so that it it follows the security policy that you want to um, that you want to actually have. Um, so um, this way, we also identify for you the um, redundancies and uh, kind of possibilities of consolidation as well as uh, other correlation and other anomalies that we have uh, that you have in your rule base. Um, so that is kind of the uh, uh, brief on uh, security uh, policy analysis um, under the security posture, um, security posture improvement area.